Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. Uh, check out that flag. It's so beautiful. My family is actually up there in the room getting ready. My wife, my son, my daughter. I got seven-year-old twins. I was coming out here. I had like an agenda. I'm like, hey, Gina, why you get ready with the kids? I'm just going to go down there, do my blog real quick. I'm going to go talk to them about like, you know, deserving that money, like, like the workmanship, the ownership. And if you don't have it, you don't deserve the money. But I walked out and I saw the flag. And then all of a sudden I asked, I'm like, what's going on? And I saw, check that out. You know what that is? That's, that's over 200 Navy SEALs right there. And they're having a fundraiser. The hotel that I'm at is having a fundraiser for the Navy SEALs. And all of a sudden my head just was like, whoa, wait, what am I talking about? Today, I gotta give reverence to my country. I gotta give reverence to, you know, a country that, you know, somebody like me that comes from the streets, that, that comes from, you know, making the wrong choices, you know, and struggling through life and, and actually going to prison and, and doing everything. A country that would allow somebody like me based on talent and skill and workmanship to actually have my own company, right? You know, you guys know that I've had the TV show. We've, we've built the academy. We have, uh, done a lot of big things we work with the biggest companies you know as far as like spacex not not just making parts but like making like almost probably three thousand different part numbers right that's the reason that you know people actually looked at me and said hey this guy is like worthy of actually doing something because they came into my shop to see things that a lot of other people can't like the parts and the components that we make right but i wanted to i just want to say something you know i walked into this trade at nine bucks an hour. You guys know the story, right? I, I didn't know anything, man. I was, I was like, you know, I went from being like a kid getting beaten, you know, and, and just went through the ranks. I came in at $9 an hour just trying to make money and make child support, you know what I mean? But at the same time, when I, when I rose up and I actually owned my own machine shop, I met my grandmother for the first time and she showed me a picture of my grandfather. If some of you guys know the story, he was a machine shop foreman of Boeing. I walked in by accident. He was a machine shop foreman for Boeing. He was actually born in the Mocatillo Lighthouse up in Washington, where my great grandfather's picture hangs today. And I, I, from their pictures, their grandfather to grandfather to grandfather goes all the way back. I was given this document where it goes back to John Day, who basically, you know, got a town given to him by our government for his service under George Washington way back when he came from England to serve this country. And uh, as a man who had a machine shop, I just was like, whoa, like I've been looking at myself like a mutt just trying to get mine. And like all of a sudden I'm like, like, like I'm part of something big right here. And like, what are we doing? Like, what am, what am I doing for my country? What am I doing for you know, my family, my people and, and all this, right? And like seeing so many companies go out of business and, and seeing just like the, the collapse of manufacturing and stuff. And that's really what triggered like everything, right? And then all of a sudden I went through 08 and 09 and, and just saw 50,000 companies going out of business. And I'm just like, like, I just like, I felt something like, man, I know how to fix this, but who am I? Who am I, right? I'm just some guy in California that has a machine shop that just laid off 40 employees that just lost his house and his car and everything. Who am I, right? Jumped up to SpaceX and Elon and got my company, just barely saved the company, you know, but my heart was broken for, for, for my country and, and for all the people losing their, their jobs and Basically one day, you know, I was like, I'm, I'm a shy person, but I'm good in my element, like in a machine shop, like how can I make a difference? There's all these companies in their little, in their boxes. They're not talking to each other. They're competing over scraps. Like how can I make a difference? And all of a sudden, like it just dawned on me, boom. Like somebody called me from the Discovery. I just heard Discovery Channel. I was like, you put a camera on me and my team in my, in our element. And all of a sudden, there's all these people on the other side. There's all these people on the other side. And like, you can just show processes and machining and you can do this and you can do that and basically inspire everybody. I didn't care about the money. Like people gotta understand, like, let's just be real. Like now we're on a vlog, right? Like, let's be real. This is me and you. I've emptied my bank accounts. 
I've lost, I've struggled, I've like gone trying to make payroll, you know what I mean? Because I put everything into it. Like I believe that, you know, we, your workmanship is everything, right? So when we're making the filming, we're doing all of this, like I put everything into it. Like I buy the best cameras, I buy the this and that and, and take care of my employees and give them vision and just, just I've struggled through the whole thing. Now, you know, we've gained some great partners, you know what I mean? Some amazing partners like Kenna Metal and Royal and Mighty Bite and Haas and DMG now, you know what I mean? And, and big, big companies, but at the same time, like we struggled, you know? So if you guys, if you guys, you guys know who my partners are, like lift them up because they're allowing me to give free education. So let me walk over here real quick. Anyway, the whole, the whole point is, only in this country could somebody like me go through all the hardships that I went through without having money. Like going from, you know, homeless on the beach and having nothing to actually owning my own company based on talent, based on workmanship, based on skill, right? Based on the ability to solve problems, right? So I'm here to lift this trade up, lift you guys up, lift the owners up, lift the, the workers up. And, and lift you guys up. And, and I challenge you today, what are you guys doing? What are you doing, right? We're gonna wake up one day and we're gonna be dead. <laughs> we're not gonna wake up, but we're gonna be dead. Like, like shoot, man, I'm gonna hit 50. Like, like, if I got another 10, 20 years, like, I'm just, I'm going all in. Like, I'm just, I'm going for broke. Like, I'm gonna try to change as many lives as possible. I'm gonna try to change this trade. You know, I'm gonna like reach out to other countries. You know, we, 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 like, we could not even make our own parts, right? We have an $800 billion deficit. Like, people wanna bring work back. They're trying to find people to actually who can machine these parts right here. And I'm just trying to lift up our, our manufacturing so that we can actually do it, get our kids excited about manufacturing, have a great country that basically makes a great living because they manufacture their own parts. But also if you're in Australia, England, Brazil, China, you're serious about manufacturing. You deserve to make parts in your own country. And I'm here to help you guys too, all right? So anyway, I just wanna challenge you guys. We have a free academy, academy.titansofcnc.com. It's awesome. The state of California is now doing an apprenticeship off of the academy because it teaches in just a portion of the time our kids and it gets our kids excited. Everybody's like, kids aren't excited. Well, you're giving them something boring and something outdated and something obsolete. They're not gonna be excited, right? But you give them something that is like, like adrenaline pumping, pounding chips, like let's make some crazy parts, let's make rockets and submarines and everything in between. And all of a sudden they're like, what? We can make parts and all the CNC machines. It's attitude, it's a philosophy, right? But we have it now. So I'm challenging you guys to go to your local schools, go to your local businesses, go to your shop owners. If you have a shop, you should be doing an academy small group so your culture can rise up, so that your guys can be excited about coming to work, right? Go to the schools and, and talk to them that everybody's like, oh, we need to build schools like, like Trump. Like he signed a thing for like over a billion dollars going into schools, that's awesome. But having a school is not good enough. What are you teaching? What are you making? We have to make part after part through repetition so we can come, become experts, so we can actually make the high-end stuff and make good money. Everybody's like, I don't get paid enough. What do you make and how efficient are you at making that? What is your workmanship? How do you deliver it, right? So basically, let's hold this industry accountable. Let's hold our workers accountable. Let's hold our, our the shop owners accountable let's hold our educators our teachers are heroes but let's hold them accountable like let's teach the right stuff the academy is free it's free for everyone all you all anybody has to do is just go on there there's a implementation guide right on the front just academy.titansofcnc.com just look at it. it's right there that's my thing that 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 i've done i've walked away from massive con contracts massive things I, I spacex is trying to give me work like like a month ago and i'm just like look i can't do it because that'll take that'll make me personally busy and i'm pouring into my kids all i'm pouring into the kids and they're like titan we get it we understand we love what you're doing do it you know but they keep calling but i'm like man 
you know, because there's not a lot of people that can do that work, right? And we're here to teach you guys. That's why we have aerospace training. That's why we're taking everything to the highest level, bringing in bigger machines, to, like horizontal mills. Everybody's looking, remember the iceberg? Everybody's looking at the tip. You gotta see the whole industry because when you see the whole industry, you see there are massive problems and that's how you make money. Solve those problems and you deserve money. And there's a million. Oh, check this out. Can you guys hear that? National Anthem. I need to just shut my mouth. You can't beat that. See you guys. Boom.